Just, just everybody is going to come, I think? I think so. Yeah. Okay. of the preferred embodiment. With reference now to the recordings, a new and improved sound identification device utilizing a cassette embodying the principles and concepts of the present invention will be described. created when the brain incorrectly interprets random patterns as being familiar patterns. The new sound effect utilizes and concepts Auditory hallucination occurs when people hear voices or other noises, although nothing is there. thing in my hand, I started finding lots of uses for it. Since it's small enough to carry anywhere, I've started to use it to replace the myriad notes I scribble to myself on scraps of paper. Every electronic device has system noise, whether it is a million dollar device or a ten dollar device. All recording devices introduce system noise into the audio being recorded.
Temporal masking occurs when one sound comes so close to another that the two seem as one. Or the first masks the beginning articulation cue of the second, making it sound like something other than what it is. Most of us are familiar with the optical phenomenon known as mirage. A similar event occurs with our auditory perception, for which I use the phrase auditory mirage. For a four-show tour along the East Coast in less than a hundred hours, and right now the only thing he knows he'll have with him is a handheld silver Sony tape recorder. He'll probably take some clothes, maybe some keyboards with bent circuits, perhaps a transistor radio, and possibly a video camera to tape his sets. But for six days, that tape recorder and one blank tape will be McGee's primary instruments. He has no idea what it will sound like. auditory illusions and how they relate to the field of exploratory audio, it is important to consider some elements of electronic audio, recording environments, and human auditory perception. is a combination of frequencies and rhythms. A speaker's attempt at verbal communication occurs when these elements are controlled by articulation cues. A lot of artists don't leave any room to listen to sound. 
If the entire sound field has this assault mentality, you can't listen. And I'm challenging myself and the audience to, list, to listen and hear these relationships of sounds. interesting practical challenges. Each stop depends on an interaction with an audience that may not exist. He could be recording total stillness. He's never played any of the rooms on his itinerary either, so he's not sure whether he will run his tape deck through a club's sound system or just rely on the recorder's tiny internal speaker. This is his chance for solo interactive listening. Description of the preferred embodiment. With reference now to the recordings, a new and improved sound identification device utilizing a cassette embodying the principles and concepts of the present invention will be described. Thank you for coming in. Checking this out. 